Hi, welcome to the IB Biology IA Stats Test T test video. So I'm going to talk you through why we use this test, uh, what the null hypothesis would be, how to calculate T, and also how to interpret the results. So we're going to use the T test when um, there are two means to compare. So you might have two groups, for example, you might be comparing male, males and females, a test group to a control group, a treated group to an untreated group, um, a polluted area with an unpolluted area, etc. There's two different t-tests, so you've got the paired and the unpaired t-test. The paired t-test is when the two groups are related pairs, and the unpaired test is when the two groups are independent of one another. So you need to kind of decide which one you're going to use. In order to carry out the test, you're going to use the SockSizeStatistics.com website. Choose calculators and then choose t-test calculator or two dependent means if you're using the paired t-test. It's independent means if it's unpaired t-test, so you need to work that out. Um, into your data, into the screen, we're always going to use the 0.05 significance level um, and then choose one-tailed or two-tailed. The one-tailed tests will look for an increase or decrease, while the two-tailed test will just look, look for a change. So again, think about your data, think about which one is going to be the most useful for your data. Um, and then click calculate and the output of the test when you scroll down should look something like this. So you're looking for the t-value and the p-value. tells you whether it's significant there or not, but we'll talk about that in more detail on the next slide here. So here's our results. Um, the t-value has to be compared to a critical value, and that's found in the critical values table. Now, my advice would be that you would include the critical values table in the appendix of your IA so that you can show how you worked out the critical value. You're going to use 0.05 significance level and that means that there's always a 5% probability that the results are due to chance. In biology, we always use 0.05, and there aren't any exceptions to the rule when it comes to the IA. The degrees of freedom, you can see 0.05 is here in this column. So then we need to work out what degrees of freedom we're going to use. So degrees of freedom is N minus 1, where N refers to the number of groups you had. Um, in my calculation, I had, uh, well, I had three groups, but then I ended with two groups because n minus 1. So we go across and we can see that the, oh, sorry, no, I had two groups and I ended with one. So the critical value is 12.706. So my t value up here, you can see is 2.2. The critical value is 12.706. So you can see here, we're comparing them. I can see that my t value is smaller than the critical value. Now, if the t value is smaller than the critical value, you're going to accept your null hypothesis. The null hypothesis would always state that there is no significant difference between the groups. Um, the null hypothesis should be stated before you um, carry out the T calculation. So you have to state there's no significant difference between the groups. Do your calculation. Show that you are comparing the T value to the critical value. Show how you found the critical value in the table. And then interpret it by saying if the T value is lower than the critical value, you accept the null hypothesis. If we're accepting the null hypothesis, then there is no significant difference between the groups and vice versa. Also, if the P value is lower than 0 0.05, you accept the null. So you can see that that marries up here as well. Um, so just check that the P value and the T value interpretations marry up before you hand in your, your IA. Um, if not, you might have done something wrong. And make sure that when you set out your t-test, you need to say why you chose the t-test. You need to have your null hypothesis. You need to have your calculations. You need to have the comparison of the t-value to the critical value, some sort of reference to the critical value table. If that's in the appendix, you might have space for it in the main body. And then this interpretation. So are we accepting the null hypothesis or are we rejecting it? And does that mean there's a significant difference or not? You can then further um, discuss the results in your conclusion.